Thursday. How are you today? I'm so glad you're here. Busy day at church here. We've got a lot going on. Um, I've got people here working on all kinds of things. Our uh, air conditioning unit in the basement and uh, the warming box in the kitchen and uh, uh, me trying to do this and do devotionals and prepare a sermon. It's, a, it's an exciting day. Glad you're here. If you are here, please chime in and say hello. And uh, it is 10 a.m. Time to start get started. I'm going to be in John chapter 3, verses 11, excuse me, 12 through 18. I need to put glasses on. Uh, verses 12 through 18, yes. And our topic is believe, believe. And I'm going to give you a, a little book recommendation as well on um, The Pursuit of God by A.W. Tozer. So, how are y'all doing? Say hello. I got two people watching. Don't know who you are. Are you four people watching now? Chime in and say hello. Or are you ghosting? Hmm. I ghost a lot. I understand. Sometimes you just can't let people know that you're here. Lisa, first one up. God bless you. I'm proud of you. First one in today. How are you doing, Lisa? Good morning to you. Are you ready for a devotional today on believing to believe? I think it's a lot like trust, isn't it? Because you can't believe if you don't trust. William Hurd, how are you doing, sir? Mild Bill, good good to have you on board. Sheila B and Jerry, hey, how are you? Good to see you, glad you're here. Kathy Eversall, always good to have you on board. And uh, did you ever get the card I sent y'all? I, I would think that you've got it by now. Anyway, um, Karen King, hey, Karen. How are you? I'm so glad that you all are here today. Uh, we are going to have a little information about The Pursuit of God by A.W. Tozer. Excellent book. I think I'm going to reread it. I got looking at it. And I think I'm going to reread it. I really liked it. Um, <clears throat> and we will be in John chapter 3, verses 11 through 18 with the topic of believe. You know the word believe is used seven times in those verses seven times hmm, must be important when it's mentioned that many times and in my bible the letters are in red so this is jesus talking to us okay we have kathy edwards in the house hello rock star lori king is with us marcy davis howdy to you too sue revis let's see i am here asking for prayers for my daughter-in-law in florida Fort Walton Beach got almost 30 inches of rain. She seems to be okay, but there are others who are not. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be praying um, for your daughter-in-law. Uh, let's see. No card yet, Kathy? Oh, well, it, it should be coming anytime. Um, let's see now. It is three minutes after. We only have a moment before we will start our devotional. So, let me read you the back cover here. On the Pursuit of God, the author said, This book is a modest attempt to aid God's hungry children so to find Him. Nothing here is new except the sense that it is a discovery which my own heart has made of spiritual realities most delightful and wonderful to me. Others before me have gone much further into these holy mysteries than I have done, but in my fire it is not large it is yet real and there may be those who can light their candle at its flame okay so for instance some of the headings of the chapters following hard after god the blessedness of possessing nothing removing the veil apprehending god the universal presence the speaking voice the gaze of the soul, restoring the creator-creature uh, creator relation, meekness and rest, the sacrament of living. Um, great book if you want to draw closer to God. A.W. Tozer is. He's fantastic. So, All right, so it is now four minutes after, and it is time to start our devotional. I'm going to be reading from John chapter 3, verses 11 through 18, and I want you to hear how many times the word believe is mentioned. You know, if you believe somebody, you trust them. 
If you trust them, you believe them when they tell you something. And it, it can be crushing, very soulfully painful when somebody you care for, somebody you love and trust, says to you, I don't believe you. I don't trust you. So, <clears throat> excuse me, let's hear the words of Jesus. Excuse me. Uh, as he speaks. And he's speaking to Nicodemus. <clears throat> truly, truly, I say to you, we speak that which we know and bear witness to that which we have seen, and you do not receive our witness. If I told you earthly things and you do not believe, how shall you believe if I tell you heavenly things? And no one has ascended into heaven, but he who descended from heaven, even the Son of Man. Verse 14, and as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes may in him have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send the Son into the world to judge the world, but that the world should be saved through him. Verse 18, he who believes in him is not judged. He who does not believe has been judged already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. All right. Belief, believe, the key in that passage. You know, there's other great things we could focus on, you know, uh, like Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness and the connection there to believe is whenever the Israelites got bit by a serpent, if they just looked up at that staff holding a, a serpent on it, bronze serpent, then their belief that it would heal them, and they were, and they were not poisoned and killed by the serpent. Belief mentioned seven times. Seven is a number of completion. It is a, a wonderful number in the book of John, in, in the Bible in general, and belief is the key. You know, verses 19, 20, and 21 talk about the light uh, and how darkness and evil doesn't care for the light and flees from the light. But, you know, Jesus is the light of the world. He is that light. Um, so I want to encourage you uh, to search out your belief, your beliefs. And um, I believe that this book can help you with that and grow closer to Christ in your belief system. Um, and be aware that Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man goes to the Father except through me. There are no other ways to heaven, only through Christ. So, having said all that, now that we're eight minutes into uh, 10 o'clock, I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you to draw close to Jesus on this rainy day, uh, that you take the time to pray and to read some scriptures. And uh, I'm reading through John again and again and again. <laughs> and ask yourself, do I really believe, do I, do I truly trust Jesus? Do I believe him for every one of his words? Do I trust him with my soul? There's no evidence that I've ever seen or heard that Christ has let down any of his promises, any of his children. And uh, I believe that if you will um, taste Christ, you will find that he is good for the soul. All right, so this Sunday we'll be having um, church indoors, no outdoor service. Hope that you'll be there. We'll begin at 11. You might want to get there a little bit early, get your seat, and uh, it'll all be ready for you. And we're going to uh, worship our Lord and have a, a wonderful time. I'll be uh, bringing a scripture from the book of Acts chapter 4 uh, when the uh, apostles were being persecuted and they didn't ask for relief. They didn't ask for being saved out of it, they ask for boldness. So with boldness, uh, I ask you to come to church Sunday. Join us at Community Church. If you're not in a church, then you need to be in our church. We love you and we want you here. So, <clears throat> let's close with a word of prayer. 
Father, I thank you so much for everybody watching, everybody who is here, all those who have tuned in, uh, for Cindy who came in a little late and Fred who came in a little late, and I'm so glad that they're here. And Lord, I pray that you will bless everybody who's watching, everybody who will watch this later, um, even those who are ghosting and don't chime in. Father, I pray that you bless them and help us all to believe in you more deeply, to trust you more deeply. And I pray it in the precious name of Jesus and all God's people said, amen. Take care. God bless you. Hope to see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. Bye-bye.